Hi, I'm Ken Brooks. Let's talk about dummies, shall we? And I don't mean me, I mean the guys behind the camera. No, just kidding. They will make me look like a dummy, so I gotta be nice to the cameraman. No, let's talk about dummies in our shop for making them. That's what I wanna talk about. Now, you can buy them, but that's time and money. If you've got a cartridge case, why don't you just make your own? There's a couple different ways to do it. So let's go over a couple of them, shall we? I'm sure we've all seen this bullet puller. Now these come in real handy and you'll use it in your shop. So I do recommend you get one. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a live cartridge, place it in here, snug up the collet in the rim cut and thump it on something firm, the vise or the bench. I use the vise. I can see the bullet moving. Come on, there we go. There we go. See, no bullet. Take the cartridge case there. Dispose of our gunpowder and fish out our bullet. There we go. At this point, we can move our bullet puller out of the way, get the gunpowder out of the way. Now, we can simply put the bullet back inside, but our primer is still live. Now we want to be able to kill this primer. We want it to not push the bullet part way into the chamber, or excuse me, into the throat or part way into the barrel. So we need to kill it. Well, oil works really, really well. Uh, some oils work better than others. I have brake free and that's what I use. So I'm going to simply squirt some into the cartridge case. Now I would let this sit for a couple days so that primer can get saturated with the oil. The oil will kill it. But be aware, I got a little story to tell. Uh, in the hands-on classes, we were gonna make some dummies and we used our other method, which we're gonna do in a moment, but we ended up with oil down in our primer soaking. We squirted some brake free in there, then we let it soak with some uh, automatic transmission fluid and let it sit four days. At the end of those four days, we took the cartridge, we put it in a gun, again, primer only, no powder, and it didn't go pop or bang, but it went poof. A little bit of smoke came out. So some primers can be pretty resilient to some of that oil and stuff. So just be aware, all right? Now, after I've let this soak for a couple days, obviously I haven't let it soak for a couple days, I would get out as much of the oil as I can. I will take lacquer thinner on a Q-tip, because I don't really want to get it on my skin if I can help it. And I'm going to clean off the outside of the bullet and the inside of the neck. I do the outside just because it makes me feel good. All right. Now I'll just simply take red Loctite. Now red is the good stuff. I'll put some on the bullet. Whoa, a little bit more than I actually wanted, but that's okay. And now I can get some of that Loctite inside the case. Don't know if you can see it, but there's some in there. And it's all around the bullet, almost all the way around. And I'm gonna push the bullet in as best I can to get it started. Now, you can stand it up and pound on the end of the bullet, drive it in, but it goes in crooked. You deform the end of the bullet. Yeah, you don't wanna do that. But you can just use your vise, and that's normally what I use. Spin it around here, back it out. Tighten it up. Then simply press the bullet into the cartridge case, the desired amount. Now, I don't like having lots of white paper towels here on the camera set, but got to be able to wipe things off. There we are. You can see we scraped off or scraped up a little bit of copper right there. Knock that off. 
and you've got a dummy. Now be sure to mark it because I mean, it looks like a live round. So you're going to want to mark it so you don't get that when you're out test firing. The other method is to simply drill a hole in the side of the case and dump out the powder and then soak the primer in oil, just like we talked about. So the first thing we would do would be to give us a good center punch. Now you don't have to center punch it, but a lot of times the drill will come down and hit and then want to walk off to one side or the other. So center punching it gives it a good place to start. And then clamp this in a vise, which we're going to do in just a minute. Drill a hole, go slow. You don't want that brass getting so hot that it sets off the powder or the primer. So go slow. If you got to just cut a little bit and then stop, stop. Not a problem. Try to avoid steel cased ammo. So some of that 223, 556, uh, 76239 ammo that's steel cased. Imagine drilling a hole in the steel. It's going to get a lot hotter, a lot faster than the brass. So try to avoid that stuff, but it can be done. Here we are at the drill press. Got our bullet clamped, cartridge clamped. Come down into our center drill. Use a sharp drill and go slow, because again, we don't want that getting hot. And I'm already through. Now we'll see you back at the bench. Back at the bench, we can simply turn the cartridge case up, dump out the powder. Now obviously, different cartridges are gonna have different kinds of powder. This, is, this one has a ball powder. So the number 32 drill was just fine for dumping the powder out. If you have to, you can use a larger drill, or you can do a small hole like this and then simply open it up later on. You can use a carbide burr, you can use a different drill, whatever. Now, a lot of times there's gonna be a sharp edge on that. I just take a drill that's larger in diameter than the hole I just drilled, and by hand, just twist it on there, just to break off any sharp edges. Last but not least, give it a little squirt of oil, my favorite oil, whatever. It happens to be at the time. I shouldn't say my favorite oil because I have two or three. So, <laughs> if you can, even set that up inside a half of a Coke can full of ATF or 1030 weight or break free or whatever. WD 40 works good. And let that primer soak in the oil. And then I usually pop them, put them in a gun, pop the primer, just to simply deaden it more. But now we have a dummy all ready to go. Catch you next time.